So I need to update my beta, being that this is a test sample super trickler, I need to update the beta firmware and I figured I'd show you guys how to do that. Now at the top, there's a little mini SD card reader. Usually I take something like a pen here and just not with a lot of force, but just push that down to the point where it pops back up. You'll see that this pops out. And notice that the gold contact are facing forward. It's not the other way around. So when you put this back in, make sure those gold contacts are facing this direction. So it's pretty simple. And matter of fact, right next to the reloading room is where I put together the EP 2.0 annealers. And this is where they are put together. And yes, this is my woman's <laughs> treadmill. That was the bargain. She gets to have her treadmill in the middle of the workshop to have this amazingness in the basement. But anyways, we got tons of motors. We got case parts, uh, you know, already pre-built EP 2.0 annealers on the shelf, ready to go. Parts galore. Matter of fact, we are a Vortex dealer. We do sell Vortex on our website and they come with a free hat and free shipping, plus bonus bucks towards EP 2.0 annealers and lockdown blocks. This is where we store them. We got parts galore and we have stuff ready to rock and roll. And we got parts to last us for a long, long time. But to get back on track here, just to show you how this works, you're gonna need some type of SD card reader and this just slides right into here unless your computer already has a slot for a mini SD you should be good to go and what I do is I usually just insert this in the back of my PC in an available USB slot and you're gonna notice that most computers should automatically pop up that window and this is that USB drive all right so i'm going to move this window over and in this other window you can see it's called super trickler firmware here's actual super trickler firmware itself and it usually ends with a stf on the file pretty simple you just drag that right over into that mini sd card once it's dragged over it's pretty simple and this is a beta uh firmware this is sent to me through email but for those that are buying this from super trickler you're going to be able to download this directly from super trickler and once you drag that stf file into that mini sd card down in the corner there's usually some type of thing that says safely remove hardware and eject media you want to click on that eject usb storage that way you can safely remove the SD card without damaging it. I grab my card reader out of the back of my PC. I'm going to pull this back out. Now that file is on this mini SD card. All right, so remember, you got to have the gold contacts facing forward. We're just going to put this back into the slot, kind of push it down with your finger. I'm going to take my pen, push this down. Don't do it with a lot of force, but you kind of have to obviously seat it down. Once you hear it click in, you're good to go. And this is where you turn on your super trickler. Make sure the pan is off. Sometimes it'll automatically detect the firmware, but if it doesn't, you can go in the submenu, system, and then I believe it's in setup system core firmware update. And it says update not found. If that happens, what you have to do, and this has happened to me before, is you need to literally power down your super trickler. Sometimes it'll recognize it, sometimes it won't. But if it doesn't, unplug it wait a few seconds plug it back in you just got to cycle the power and it should recognize it now 
if you run in that situation. I'm kind of, kind of glad it's doing this just in case this happens to you guys. So set up system core firmware update and you can see where it says start. So you're going to hold down the start button and you can see it's taking that firmware off that SD card and is installing it on to the circuit board. And there's going to be some funky flashing lights. And that's it. You can see that the update is complete and it really is that easy.